Hi, I'm director Eli Roth. Welcome to Trailers from Hell. Today we'll be taking a look at the trailer for one of the most ridiculed and underappreciated sequels of all time, Exorcist Part 2. I, of course, would know absolutely nothing about making a sequel and having it be ridiculed and underappreciated. But uh, unfortunately, John Borman did. It is a fantastic trailer with amazing music by Ennio Morricone. Enjoy. Here we go, Exorcist 2 starts off with that iconic image from the first Exorcist and you see some of the shots and it's like th there was so much anticipation for this movie and they had the director of Deliverance so it's like oh wow this is going to be the Exorcist sequel and then it just all goes wrong. It's fantastic. This is just one of the most wrong movies on so many levels because you're watching this going what in God's name is going on. It's so ridiculously cheesy on so many levels, but it's got this amazing, amazing music by Ennio Morricone. And I think the movie, Linda Blair said that the movie fell apart while they were shooting it. That apparently the script, the script started off good and then they kept changing it and changing it and changing it. This movie was so ridiculed and maligned and laughed at when it opened in the theaters that people were actually throwing things at the screen. And John Borman recut the movie twice while it was in the theater. They wouldn't pull it from the theater. They would send an editor to the theater and have them physically cut the print. So uh, really, it wasn't until the film was released on DVD that you could uh, you know, get the full effect of it. Um, the movie at the time it was made was one of the most expensive movies ever made by Warner Brothers. The budget was $14 million. That said, even though it took such a critical beating, it still made 30 or $35 million at the box office and was actually a financial success. Linda Blair looks so unbelievably hot there. Uh, but it's got this great cast, James Earl Jones, in this weird kind of um, Lion King outfit. Uh, it's just one of the best trailers of all time for a really terrible movie.